everybody, welcome to Technique Tuesday. Today we are going to talk about forays, which is one of the most fundamental steps in all of ballet, it's in every ballet, feet going like da 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 one of the very first steps you learn on point. But the tendency for people I see a lot of time is this, or front especially, front to, you know, front forays you literally feel like you're like this. So hopefully I can help you skim across the surface today. That's the goal. So for a fundamentals, it's just little teeny tiny, you have to actually pick your feet up. A lot of people don't even realize they're just trying to bend their knees and they don't actually pick their feet up. You've got to pick, 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 teeny, 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 tiny movements. Yeah, because the word for actually originated from an old French dance called the gavot or the gavot, which is like tiny little movements. That word originated from that. So that's why we do da -da 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 like this. It's not, yeah? So quick, quick, tiny movements. And you also have to bend your knees. I see a lot of people trying to board it with straight legs. You've got to bend your knees and move those feet. And something you've probably heard before is that the back foot leads. You've got to cross those feet and let the back foot lead. Because if you don't, you end up like this. Yeah? Let that back foot push you, and that's how you're gonna get the power, is that keeping it crossed, and then you get the pretty line. Also make sure the heels are forward. You know, we don't want to be boring like this. So back foot, back foot, back foot, back foot, and then especially if you're going forward, you have to push the hips forward and get that back foot in so we don't get stuck together. Yeah? So really back foot pushes you across the floor. So make sure you're picking up your feet, you're actually bending your knees, don't try and bore it straight. But also, you know, it's probably very rare that you don't, that you're just gonna be straight. There's always gonna be an arm, there's always gonna be a head. So you wanna be lifting up on your bores. If you're pushing down and you're trying to bore it and make this tight, you're never gonna get that skimming across the floor. So you've gotta lift up in the waist, you know, or if you're in your, in your place, yeah? Both feet, both knees, and lifting up. The minute I do this, it gets really difficult, yeah? So lift up, lift up, back foot leads. You never ever bore uncrossed, yeah? The, the direction you're going is always the foot in front. Very, very rarely, unless it's a fosse or something, will you ever be going like this. You'll always have that foot the direction you're going in front. So watch how those heels are. Make sure we're not starting to get parallel. Keep it rotated and let that back foot take you. Yeah, keep it crossed. And don't be afraid to bend your knees and actually pick up the feet. You know, it's not just moving the knees, hoping that the feet will go. You've got to da -da 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 with the feet. That's when you ever see a teacher give bore. It's always like this or they're saying feet, 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 because you actually have to move those feet. You'll be amazed how people think they're moving their feet when they're not. And the boring forward is the hardest one, because you feel so awkward. So you have to have those feet be super, super tight, and think of the back foot pushing you. Yeah? So the back foot pushes, 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 and you also have to be up on your hips. The minute you get back, it becomes very, very awkward and very challenging. So lifting up in front of the hips, let the back foot push you going forward. Okay, you guys, just keep practicing. Bore is one of those things that you will do in every single ballet. It's the transition step, it's to get across the stage, and it's just about not being afraid to really move, lift up, make space for those legs, and really move those feet, all right? If you missed my free Pow Pow class for Workout Wednesday, it's over there. You can click it to watch. Thank you so much as always, you guys. Your comments have been amazing. I'm going to do a Q&A soon, so please leave your questions in the box below. I love you all, and I will see you on Thursday.